I already made a spoiler free review video on Suzanne 2 Fury of Cause and this video will have spoilers. So spoiler alert. In this movie the kids from the first movie grew up and they are 18 or close to 18 so they all gotta go their separate ways. One of the kids is kinda sad about that fact cause this might be their last adventure together as a family of superheroes. And that's a pretty good start cause in the family of brothers and sisters when they grow up they had to leave for their separate things and this made the younger kids sad. Which is a very natural but the problem is the movie doesn't explode that because most of the characters or the family members are not fleshed out that was a problem in the first movie and that is the problem in the second movie so they could have expanded a few of the kids in the first movie and maybe a few in this movie but that doesn't happen because this movie feels like a separate entity from the first movie something set up in the first movie doesn't come into effect and something that do happen in this movie are not at all set up in the first movie so other than the fact that this is generic this is also lackluster and the plot about the three sisters oh god the third sister is not shown in the trailer so at least as the sister so that character joining the movie at the beginning could have made a plot twist at the end but that didn't happen because the poster already spoiled that for me so i know she is going to be the sister and the funniest part how the fuck does two sisters are that old and the other is a teenager even though she looks like a teenager but she is supposed to be thousands of years old and making out with the kid there does have a self-aware commentary but that's not making the fact less creepy. If you have read the DC comics, you'll probably know that there are various gods. Now me, for DC, I knew Superman and Batman. Other than that, I read a few Justice League comics. So my knowledge about DC is as limited as anyone who doesn't know that much of DC. So I don't know, but Wonder Woman, from what I've searched online, is not supposed to be a god. She is rather a demigod. And in this movie, one of the kids sacrifices to save the others. And the scene generally looked to be sad, but I knew they are not gonna pull it off cause this movie has been pretty generic and playing it so safe and it's so much tropey. I know someone is coming and and yeah soon enough Wonder Woman comes in and says she is a god and she saves a kid. So no big losses to the main characters. The best part of the movie I would say though are the comedy elements cause some of the comedy does land and sometimes they are cringy though. If they could have got a structured story the movie would have benefited a lot. And the post credits scene where we see James Gunn's wife playing her character from Peacemaker and they show up to set it up with the DCEU and yes Shazam is going forward. Now with all these characters revealed to be moving forward in the new DC it makes me angry every time cause they are not bringing back Henry Cavill and Ben Affleck from some rumors I heard he is just 10 minutes in the Flash movie so yes you just kick two of the good characters for sake of something I don't know so after watching this movie I don't really feel any urge to watch the new DCEU. Probably I would watch it for making YouTube videos. Other than that, there is no point. Now if I have to rate, I would give it a 5 out of 10 or maybe a 6 out of 10 for the comedy but let me know how would you all rate it. So that's all I got for today's video and let me know about what you think about the movie. And subscribe and like and do all the thing other YouTubers are still to do.